Okay. One, two, three, click. Go. Hmm. Okay. Hello everybody, Domino Mule here, and welcome back to another episode of One Shot. It's been a couple days since I last played this game, so I don't know if I'll get any unique dialogue or anything, but... Uh... Yeah, let's go. Damo? Are you still there? I'm here. It happened again. Everything just went really dark. So, so dark the light bulb doesn't even light it. Huh. Okay. I'm kind of curious to know what happens if I keep... That was just my coat. Don't worry about it. You probably didn't even hear that. It just fell behind me. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm kind of curious if something happens. Uh, hold on, I gotta turn down my volume. I'm kind of curious if something happens when uh, you close out the window enough times or whatever. But uh, at the same time, I don't really want to know. So I think last episode we got the library card, and now we're trying to get to the camera person. Uh, are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for a reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo sensor is right behind me. The, the bad news is that it doesn't work, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. Uh, all of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Damo and I can figure it out from there. That's good. It would certainly help, uh, help with the people with the expired IDs. Like me. Okay, um... I just... Okay, street vendors. Okay. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? <clears throat> Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay. Um, thin between two curve. So, a thin sandwich. Um, yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. Okay. Um. No. So, large is to the left of the curved. So... Um... I only have two possible combinations that I can work with, so I guess I can trial and error this. So... Large... Oh, okay. Large... Um, large curved, thin, concave. I guess that wasn't the right combination, Damo. Okay, so large, um, large, um, so, I guess... Curved outward, or... I think I used the convex lens this last time. So, let's do concave. And then let's do the thin lens. And then let's do the convex. Okay. So, I got the 50% wrong. Uh, cheese? 
my eyes. It's a photo of me! Are my eyes always this big? Yes, they are, Nico. They are. So now I can go to the library and see person. I don't know. <laughs> the head librarian, George, is in the archival room upstairs. Unauthorized entry. Okay, fine, I have to have the library card out. Oh. I can't combine those. Right. I've got to go and tape it together. And to do that, I need to go back up the elevator to um, get to the tape. Okay. I mean, that's fine. It's just a bit of a backtrack. Like, I don't know. I feel like all the reasons why I got stuck on this game were... Every time I did get stuck in this game is because I couldn't see a door or something, which is very stupid, but... Um, yes. The tape should be here, to the right. Give me the tape. What time is it? G good evening. Yes, it is evening. Your time here is precious. Yep, I am recording this, like... 6 p.m. Central Standard. Um. Tape dispenser. Um. Oh. No. I'm just being dumb. The back of the photo is covered in glue. And glitter. The card has my face on it now. Okay, so once again, I overcomplicated it. That's fine, that's fine. I kind of forgot that the glitter glue existed, and I didn't really look in my inventory. It's fine, it's fine. This game is about the journey, not the speedrunning. I'm really enjoying this game so far. Like, I'm not gonna say it's like my top 10 favorite games of all time or anything, but I'm really enjoying it just for what it is. It's a nice casual romp after, uh, after CrossCode, and after, well, no, CrossCode was actually really casual, probably my most casual Let's Play, but definitely more casual than other games I've been playing lately, which have just been rhythm games. Because rhythm games are a good way to pass time without wasting too much time procrastinating on homework. Uh, the daily struggles of college students. Okay, fine. Authenticating Barrett card, bar barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. Hm. Okay. Looks like an old phone. It's full. A small tree. Hmm. Whoa. What? <laughs> Why are you a die? Or, yeah. So. Someone here to see the brilliant George, eh? I didn't know she was Italian. Uh, caught one of my genius and couldn't help but come see it for yourself, eh? Uh, um, don't answer. Of course you are. What else could you possibly want? I'm just doing my Mario voice, but female. <laughs> Actually, I need help. Can you, can you tell me what I need to do? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Ah, but of course I can help. 
For I, the brilliant and intelligent head librarian George, beholder of all of the knowledge, believe you're supposed to go in the tower. That's what I said. But how, exactly? Through the tower entrance room. Alas, going beyond that small entrance room requires ancient forbidden knowledge that eludes even George. But fear not. If that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tone in a long dead language, then know that I and George eh, am fluent in several dead languages. I see. A book is poking out from the shelf. <laughs> Time to, uh, do my author voice. Another fruitful visit to the Green Prophet today. She seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Bacchus was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed an interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. I don't know if that's actually auth the author. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying things funny now, intentionally. Book is poking out from this shelf. Ah, looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Huh. Another still life has some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Thursday. Various sketches. Practice. Um, no. I know what we're supposed to do, but, um... I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to present the book. I'm just looking at the things, because the interactables. Although its pigmentation is pri- oh. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible irides iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can even thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss without competing with the moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Well, cool. A book is poking out from the shelf. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of an external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to the limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that teaming was a lost cause. Oh, prophet bot. Huh. Oh, compatible with longer clothing. Huh. It didn't wear long clothes, I don't think. Um, yeah, let's let's get this strange journal. Oh, I do have this book, though. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Aha! An ancient book. Written by no less than the most ancient... Wait, wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all. But it's written in dead language, nonetheless. It's time for me to unleash my brilliance. Aha! For Georgie, me, professor of at least one PhD, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. I don't know if I'm doing Italian or British or maybe both. It's a it's a bad it's a bad impression of either one that it that it sounds more like. Uh, excuse me. Oh, what's this? You are sleepy? A little. Fear not. Because I have read a book on hospitality before, and thus have re <laughs> This happened- this exact same thing happened in CrossCode, where I did one British voice and then suddenly everybody became British. 
Monolith Soft, you should hire me to do the voice acting for Xenoblade 3. Come on! I, the game isn't out yet, it still has like... Seven more months? Yeah, let me let me voice act one of the characters. Um, um, can I voice act the female protagonist? <laughs> uh, and thus have a prepared for this exact situation. Guest rooms in the attic down the hall. Voice acting is kind of one of those things that I like doing, but I don't know if I want to take it seriously or not. I just like doing funny voices, and I want to go more out there with my voices, because I notice I kind of stick with the same four voices. But, um, I just want to do more voices. Like, if I play a story-based game like Xenoblade again, well, okay, I didn't finish Xenoblade, but I, I might pick it back up again if I really want to. Although, if I'm going to play Xenoblade again, I think I might start off with Xenosaga, go through that series, and then marathon through the Xenoblade games, because Xenoblade 1, 2, and 3 are connected. Xenoblade 3 I'm very, very hyped about. In fact, I did do a Nintendo Direct reaction the other day, but um, I, I just deleted the video because I didn't think it was that entertaining. So, yeah. Back to the game. Although he hasn't been sending me anything as of late. I wonder, I wonder. Perhaps he had decided that since I've worked so hard, I deserve a break. As brilliant as I am, I still can't keep up with him. Even after he stops sending me things, I still can't catch up. Of course, I have published, but okay. The box of manuscripts just seems to be growing on its own. Who is this author? So, okay. Okay, take a nap time. Nap time. Nap time. A book on the ground. But the deeply believed in the multi- but she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Wait. Wait. Wait, are you telling me that there are six different possibilities for this game? Book what? I'm gonna have to do some research after I beat this game. If there are other endings depending on like just like a random RNG value. I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yeah. Okay, Nico, I want you to wake up in three, two, one. Thanks, Steam. Oh my god, Nico's so cute. Although, where's your other eye, Nico? Where's your other eye? Huh. Oh, I, I really like that drawing. Huh? What did you see? Huh? What? Oh, no. Oh. Well, it's just a dream. Hey, uh, Damo? I guess you saw my dream. Yeah. It was... Uh. Come on, let's go. I'm starting to kind of 
get the feeling that something's wrong here. Well, I, I mean, d despite, like, the world being dead already. It's just, like, something must be going on in the background. What the hell is with that computer, that ki with that fucking sarcastic-ass sassy guy that's like, Oh, put your sheets in the void. Thanks. Why, 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 why are you treating me like I'm the dumbest person ever? I've done it. I have finished the, ta the daunting task of translating this journal. Oh, that was fast. But of course, I am the speediest translator in recent history. Anyway, I made you a line-by-line -line transcript. It looks like this journal might be meant for Domo. Oh? Uh, that was my genuine reaction. I wasn't doing Miko, but it sounded... It was it lined up perfectly. Here, take a look yourself. Greetings, Damo. Or wait, no. This is by the author. Greetings, Domo. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery. You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Though, through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Damo, on the other hand, look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. Huh? I... Huh... I... What? The rest of the pages are torn out. You didn't do this, did you? Uh, no. Shame. I was wondering what window was supposed. Oh. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I just had a silent epiphany. Uh, normally I would have vocalized it, but I was just too... Too... Too immersed in my own thoughts. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. Aha! Uh -huh. That is the question that Georgie can answer. It seems you needed the items containing yellow phosphor, the rest of the other phosphors. The rarest of the... Okay. Set to absorb sunlight for the longest time and never fade out. Oh, I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. But at last, you are missing the third, no? Fear not. For Georgie, the collector of the rare artifacts, shall assist you. Here. Oh, it's a die. It's a die. Uh, oh, it looks like you? Uh, yes! Now you'll never forget my face! Uh, the face of knowledge. <laughs> I think you're the face of chaos, but whatever. Ah, uh, thank you! Good luck on your journey, small child. George shall bid you for the bell now. Um. Um. Wait, no. No, I need... You must go to the small room at the base of the tower while I'll have... Okay, with those three items in hand, you must stand in the room. And Dama will do something about the floor patterns and windows. Uh, 
Uh, where is the tower? Well, I guess I'll go now. Hmm. Where is the tower? Oh, wait, no! I know! I know! Oh. <laughs> I guess Nico's getting hungry. Uh, hey, Damo? Do you remember where the cafe is? Uh, yeah. Oh, good! I I'm asking because, well, I'm a little hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry! I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So, like... Four days, then? Ah. Uh. Okay, Nico, I do kind of feel bad. So, is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Interacting with Nico is like interacting with a small child with all the cute moments, but none of the absolutely aggravating, like, Satan spawn moments. Because, uh, dealing with children is very, very frustrating and aggravating. Parents? Um... Oh, I don't know how parents do it. <laughs> Good thing I'm never gonna be a parent because I'm never gonna get a girlfriend or wife. <laughs> oh, hey, you're back. Uh, did he manage to fix the elevator? Mm-hmm. Damo and I went to the surface already. And... Uh... Well... I remember there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. M maybe I can help you wash dishes or something. No, no, it it's on the house. At least I can do it for the savior, right? Yeah, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes! These pancakes are so good! Thank you so much! No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah, I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, gotcha. So I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into the batter. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely. Or... Huh. Mama. I really miss her. I just... Just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here! I just want to see my mama again. Oh. Uh... There, there. It's gonna be okay. Uh, and I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Uh, yeah, but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Uh, right. Hey, want some more pancakes? It's okay. I'll be fine. So, yeah. Thanks for coming by. Mm hmm Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Pancakes. Yes! I got the pancakes achievement. It must at least be a platinum. It must be. <laughs> Man, poor Nico.
Nico. Nico, Nico. I'm kind of scared of this tower. I don't know what's going to go on during this whole tower part sequence. Travel to Vendor Street because the tower is going to be back here. Yeah, it's up through this part. Like, I'm like 99% certain this is the tower. So. In the next episode of One Shot, we will go inside the tower and see what the heck is up with that. So. Bye bye.